Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Pagan and today we are back with some more Mass Effect 2. This is my first ever time playing Mass Effect 2. We've just finished the first game. There was some stuff that happened, decisions were made. So this is back into episode 2 of Mass Effect 2 for my very first time. I'm still very nervous, but I freaking love how this game looks. Look at it. It's so cool. Okay, we have to go somewhere. Um, the elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I love her accent. Please, ma'am. Just remember who's in charge. Oh. Thanks for resurrecting me. I'll do my best. You sound jealous. Uh, thank you for resurrecting me. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. Is there a problem here? What's your problem? We don't have to be enemies. Is there a problem here? For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Right. Have a look at the current mission. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Hmm. Any idea what we'll find? Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. <laughs> Fair. It has been abandoned, so I guess so. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. Oh yeah, like what? What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, uh. alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. I'm glad he was in charge. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. Yeah, it's the fucking elusive rude. man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Right? Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Okay, I wanted more than a resume. Investigate, where'd you train? Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No, the elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Okay, oh my god. All right. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Um. It's obvious you're not interested in rude. talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Right. Okay, she's kind of, she's kind of standoffish. Maybe, maybe I deserve that. Maybe that's on me. Can I go in the store? I cannot. Um, cool. So, I love Mass Effect so far. I think it's really, really cool. Obviously, there will probably be choices that I make on this playthrough that are mistakes. That are things that I will regret later. But honestly, I'm just here to make them. I'm just here to make the choices, friends. Okay? I, I'm having so much fun with this game. And I kind of love, like, where it's going and how deep it is, so... I don't know. <laughs> Let's just live through it, okay? Live through the mistakes. I have said that before as well. If there are anything that happened, there will no there will not be any like restarting of missions. I won't be trying again. I won't be trying to get a different outcome. It's all going the way it's going. Alright? I also want to point out that I'm not particularly trying to favor Paragon or Renegade playthroughs. I know what they are because people have told me about them. But I'm just trying to favor the options that look most appealing. Whether they're in green or sorry, blue or red, I don't want that to affect how I want to play. I just want to see what the options are and choose the best one for me or what I would pick. Okay, hopefully that's okay. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Colonists need my help. I didn't join Cerberus. I'll reserve I didn't join Cerberus. I just agreed to work with him. I still don't trust him. Do you trust me, Commander? I do. You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Oh. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Alright. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? 
It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. I do like him. I think I think he's trustworthy. Jacob and the Alliance. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. There was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Oh, okay, wow. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Sure. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. I mean, fair. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Ooh, interesting. Okay. Oh. Whoa, what is this? Mission complete. Level up, mission summary. Mission summary? Shepard escaped attack on the facility along with operatives Taylor and loss of facility destroyed by remote detonation. Salvage teams were ensure will ensure no incriminating data survived. Per Miranda's recommendation, I'm running security sweeps on other cells to ensure that Wilson was their only mole. Regardless of the cost, Project Lazarus was a success. Shepard is back. This is new. You receive the following bonuses for an important for importing a level 43 character into Mass Effect 2. Ah ha Sweet! Look at all my bonuses! Sick! Ah, grenade launcher. That is what I chose. Yep. Sweet. We do love that. Credits. Okay. Level up. Oh. I get a little summary at the end of the mission. How we cool. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Yes. Uh, other what colonies. did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. Hmm. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the Fair. elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. Okay, that's a good answer. I like that. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Okay, fair. Someone could still be alive. We're here to search. Do whatever it takes. Our first priority is to look I think for survivors. someone could be alive. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find someone. Her accent is so Anything nice. better than another ghost town. Just talk to me, Miranda, okay? Just keep talking to me! <laughs> ah! I love it. I do have Australian friends, and then whenever they speak to me, I'm just like... <laughs> I bat my eyes. <laughs> Can't help it. Can't help it. That's their charm. Are we supposed to have weapons out? I feel like probably not. Right there. Ooh. On my way! Sorry. With you. Right with you. Oh, quick commands. Down is everybody to me. That is a marker. Move. That is also a marker. Moving to point. Okay, thank you. Uh hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Alright. I didn't I think maybe I pulled out my gun, but I I'm not sure. Sorry about that if I did. It's again massive dev space vibes. Don't love that at all. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. <laughs> Dead Space traumatized me. <laughs> like clearly, clearly that game has has mentally fucked me up for all other space games. 
There is a playthrough of that, it's just not on my channel. If anybody wants to see it, I can link it in the description if you want. It's on Couch Soup YouTube channel. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, Ooh. no signs of battle. Yeah, you are so right. Absolutely nothing. Ghost town, ghost town. Can we go up here? What's in here? Can't do anything. Okay, ooh, okay. Sorry about that. We're all clear! Okay, sorry about that. Oh, what's this? Oh. Well, why are we- oh god! Strange. Why am I getting blasted over here? There we go. There we go. That's better. God damn. There we go. Shoot them before they take out your shield. Current objective to attack on site. We're not alone here. Oh, interesting. Sorry, just checking out the current objective thing. How do I? How do? Oh, what did I just do? My gun there. Huh. I was gonna say, how do I heal? Um. X reload, got it. Is there no heal? Maybe there isn't a heal. I guess I didn't really learn how to. I just used Unity. So maybe it's just self regenerative. That word that I can't do right now. Aha! Menjo. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Give that a go. Um. Oh god damn it, that's not the... <laughs> Didn't mean to press that one. <laughs> ah! Oh! <gasps> do you not get a chance to do that again? Oh, that's fascinating. Okay. Good to know. I have it over the wrong one and clicked it. Oops, my bad. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Who has seen us? Where are they? Oh, God. Jesus Christ. I don't like the reload. Don't like the reload. Don't like the fact that I have bullets. Hold right there. Franta, you said you'd let me handle this. Tally! Wait. Shepard? Oh! Taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Oh my god, it's me! Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Prata. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. Facts, Tully. Good choice. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Why did, you, why did Vitor come here? He was here on pil pilgrimage. You've asked. You've answered your own question. Have you found him? You think he's alive? Everyone else is dead. What makes you think Vitor survived? We saw him when we landed. You saw him? What? Then why isn't he with you already? Vitor was injured, and he was always, uh, nervous. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. We need to team up. We'll handle it from here. Let's team up. Vitor is the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Nice. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Prazat. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. All right, Tully. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Okay. Why do you hate Cerberus? People really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people. 
infiltrated our flotilla and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. Miranda! We can argue over who killed who later. Right now, we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Sounds like a plan. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Miranda's kind of a bitch. I like her. <laughs> I can't help it. I just love her. Ooh. Okay. What is that? Right. We're going to the middle warehouse, guys. Just make sure everything's clear. Be right. careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Come on. Thanks for the warning. Oh. I'll take care of them. I thought they were going to attack me. Probably are. I see Ooh. you, Shepard. Oh. Sorry now. Jesus. All right, let's try this again. What do we get? Credits. Sweet. Okay, I think that's everything in here. Use overload on them. Use overload on them. And yep. There it is. Whoa. You're done. Target down. Whoa. My God. What? Whoa. One left. Jesus. We should have oh. expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. Tally, you couldn't keep them in control for like five minutes. This is why I was your leader. <laughs> like, this is why you were under Commander Shepard, okay? Nothing bad happened under Shepard. No one died. D this is why. <laughs> I'll cut her some slack, she's pretty good. Oh, my God. Can I use overload again? Wow. Yeah, again with the wow. There we go. We are inside the loading docks. Okay, ma'am. Vitor reprogrammed the heavy mech. It's tearing Plaza squad apart. They okay. did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Stay in close. Be right there. Right. Ah, Take one is for him, one is for her. Okay, it's no. Left is for her, right is for him. Oh my god, no! Oh! 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 Sally! Lady. Those quarians never stood a chance. Tally's still alive though, right? This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Lovely. Just what we need. Jesus, his thing is strong. Shield oh my god. Fail. To wait. Shit. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, come on. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. She 
Jesus. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, and I don't have any ammo left. Oh my goodness, the whole ammo thing really fucks me up, Emmy too. What's going on? You couldn't have oh thanks. You couldn't have like kept the overload of the weapons, really? Shit. Oh, that was... That was chance. <laughs> I selected it by, by accident. Okay, well, I'm having my 3,000 credits. God, they're giving me a lot of credits. This is valuable. Oh, shit. You can now afford the shotgun research product. Okay. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. Oh, oh. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Save oh, from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Wait, is Tali really not there? Is Tali dead? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's going to hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Where's Tali? Have to hide. Mechs will That's protect. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We weren't here. Tell us what happened. Why didn't happened? the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. What's a collector? Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. <gasps> the Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Collectors, leaders escape swarms, collectors. It's the collectors. I want to know more about the collectors. I sure do. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find oh, you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. Aww. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. Thank you, Vitor. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. Miranda! What? Oh, thank Before God, Tali. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Fraza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Nitor's Omnitool data, but please, 
Just let me take him. You should join us, Tali. Oh my gosh, Peter goes with Tali. Peter has to come with us. Oh no, uh, I want one of the two options up the top. You should join us, Tali, or Peter goes with Tali. You should join us, Tali. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive. And you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. You know what? That's respectable. Vitor goes with Tali. Yep. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Would agree. Tali will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, mm -hmm. Commander. Thank you, Shepard. Welcome. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. Oh, thank you. We're ready for pickup. That was the right choice. It was absolutely the right choice. I don't regret that at all. Poor Veter. Oh. Poor guy. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The quarians now that they've all said it this is Martin Sheen, it's Martin Sheen, it's totally no, Martin Sheen, you know what I mean? But it's a surprising olive branch, given our history. Interesting, you and I, I didn't get that methods, before. But I can't argue with your results. Having friends pays off. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? <laughs> Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Hmm. You don't seem surprised. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the collectors. Oh my god, you've just dropped so much knowledge. <laughs> what? Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If hmm. they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Okay, yeah, sure. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? Wow. What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. Hmm. What aren't you telling me? The threat is real enough. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. Can't do it alone. Agreed. Can't do it alone. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I had a good team. I'm a specter. I decide who's on my team. We'll be ready. I had a good team. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Gith. Yeah. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Garrus. Where's Garrus Vakarian? He's my boy. The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Aw, what? What about Liara? Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Excuse you. Where's Caden Alenko? 
He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Tally. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Okay, I get it. They're not available. God damn it. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm a specter. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Let's go. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing seeker swarms. Is that in order? And the second thing? Sounds good. And what else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. <gasps> Joker? <laughs> Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. Got a lot of strings attached. Mm. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, records sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. Fuck yeah. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. <laughs> Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. <sighs> beautiful. It's just like the moment. A little bit. A little bit. Why she looks good? The SR2? That's what she's called? It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. I was just about to say. I was like, you can't give her a better name than SR2? <laughs> That's... That's gold. That's some. That's some. Sh that's some good shit. Ah, so good. Let's go. My palms are sweaty. <laughs> I'm like, that's awesome. I love that so much. <laughs> okay. It's just, oh, what a great little summary as well. Like, I just think this is great. Like, a very clear defined, well done. You finished this part. Next part. Here you go. Here's all the summary. Love that. I think that's great. It's just so good. It's so cinematic. This game is just so cinematic. I love it so much. Okay. Level up. Let's go. Collectors confirmed a source of attacks on Freedom's progress. Cory and survivor Vita returned with Tali to the Micron Fleet. We'll examine his Omnitool data for any useful. Oh yeah, what was this? You must recruit a head scientist to build this upgrade. Okay, heavy weapon upgrade. Okay, fair. Paracel technology used by heavy weapons is fairly old, but can be improved by rebuilding the core and modern with modern components. These improvements allow standard paracels to yield more shots per paracel and allow more sh total shots fired. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. I like that. Oh my god, this game looks so good though. Shit me. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> I love it so much. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Fair. Good point. This is my ship. 
a little bit. Little bit want to do this? But I won't be a bitch. She's a bitch enough to me. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Edie, oh my gosh. Joker won't like this. This could come in handy. AIs are dangerous. This could come in handy. An AI in charge of the Normandy system should give us an advantage. Actually, I am not in control of the ship, Commander. Oh. Due to the potential dangers of a rogue AI, Cerberus has severely restricted my capabilities. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. Okay. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Wow. Anyone else I should meet? Time to assemble our team. Glad to hear it. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Hmm. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Thank you, Joker. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Oh, I'm gonna find you. Ugh! Jacob. Sir. What a legend. Mm-hmm. I can't skip past that? No, I can't. Private terminal. Use your private terminal to get status. Status updates on your squad. Okay. Armory. Select weapons for your squad from the armory. Okie doke. That's downstairs as far as I know. Elevator to access the Normandy's other decks. Okay. Captain's quarters. Go to your personal cabin to customize your appearance. Oh my gosh, I have a personal cabin! Tech lab. Acquire the professor to research upgrades for your squad's equipment. Okay. Let's do. Mm, oh my goodness, this is amazing! Alright, okay. Ooh. Welcome aboard, Commander. Thank you. Let's have a chat. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. Oh wow, I'll thank you. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Kelly, sure. Okay, Kelly. Anything, anything else? else? How is the crew? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything oh. else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Hmm. What are your responsibilities? <laughs> I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, wait, is that all? Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. Okay. I have a degree in psychology. Oh. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You're a counselor? You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Huh, it's good that you're here. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. I Thank think that's great. What else would you like to know? Um, what do you think of service? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. I was just about to say the same thing. Does Cerberus hate aliens? Sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humans. Okay, okay. I also love Fair. Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. You're very loving. Goodbye, you're naive. <laughs> Are you happy here? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. We won't. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Oh, God. I'd embrace you. I'd embrace you! 
Excuse me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'd catch you. I'd drop you. I would drop you. Well, <laughs> I would. I'd catch you. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it was you. Let's Thank move you. forward. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Uh, no. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Okay, maybe we will. Is she flirting with me? I feel like she was flirting with me. No, she wasn't really flirting with me at all. Ooh, a weapons locker. Okay, great. Ooh! Uh, where can I change? Oh. I can't change anything yet because I haven't gotten anything yet. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Have a look around the ship. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, Jacob. What's up? Is this where you're gonna be on the ship from now on? Oh, <gasps> cool. I feel like that might be where he's on, he's stationed from now on. Let's have a chat. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. Oh yeah, I sorry. Say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Oh, it's a risky assignment. Bringing you wasn't my choice. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Okay. Interesting. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But <laughs> if the collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Okay, fair. Glad to have you aboard. I appreciate your honesty. Do your job, nothing more. I look Weird. forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. I absolutely will. Thank you, sir. I like him. I like him. Ooh, where are we going? Tech Labs. Briefing, common room. Oh, cool. Talk. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Oh, sounds useful. Quantum what? Quantum what? I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we mm -hmm. alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Sounds useful. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. Oh. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one link to each world. I see. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Wow, thank you. That's helpful. Okay, cool. Calm room, tech lab. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Got it. Thanks, ED. What a sweetheart. Okay, let's go and have a look down here. This is fun. Exploring a new ship, huh? Okay. What's up, guys? I know the Joker wants to talk to me, but I will talk to Joker in a minute. Okay. Let's try to go downstairs, see what happens. Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. Thank you. I will go there shortly. Um, Captain's cabin. Whoa, that was quick. Oh my god. Wow! Hello? What? What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not the Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Wow, thank you. Oh my god, cool. <gasps> I love it. Medal of Honor, view achievements. Oh my god, that's cool. Save humanity throughout the galaxy from certain annihilation. Oh my god, these are... 
Oh, very good. These are your mission. Okay. Oh my god, is that a picture of Caden? <laughs> Who put that there? Like, someone had to have, like, actually put that there. Or, like, it's a little... It's obviously a little screen. But she's never been in here. And she's been basically dead for two years. <laughs> so they just have her screensaver as Caden? That's so funny. I was about to, like, I don't know, rip the piss out of someone who would put, like, you know, their screensaver as, you know, their loved one, but... This me. <laughs> this me. I can't say shit. Oh my gosh, my casual outfit. Okay, let's have a look and see what I can, um, I can change into, because I, I, I don't love this. It's not very flattering, babes. It makes your hips look so wide. She's got a wide gate anyway, but still. <gasps> I think that's hot. <laughs> that's pretty hot. Ooh, comfies. We do like some comfies. This is just impractical, but really nice. Really, I'm gonna have a problem with this game. <laughs> I'm gonna have a problem with this game. Oh god. Well, she's the captain of the ship, right? So she should probably look like the captain. I don't think that has captain vibes. Really? This has more captain vibes, really. That is nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, that's what we're that's what we're wearing. Yeah, I look so much more like Captain now. Okay, let's have a look at the personal terminal. Team status. Get out of here. How fucking big can your team be in this one? <gasps> cool. Oh, okay. Unread messages. Oh, okay. Hey, what happened? Oh, I marked it as red. God damn it. There we go. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me at the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put us on top and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about we've, what we've been hearing. Okay, Anderson, let's go. Let's have a look more at my unread messages. From the elusive man, Shepard, we've reached an agreement with veterinarian and mercenary Zaid Massini. You may know the name. Zaid has been involved with some of the best known in some of the best known military operations in the Terminus system and is feared as a ruthless and re relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. Interesting. You'll find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee, I've taken care of that personally. Huh. Interesting. Project Firewalker. Commander, the MSV Rosalie, a ship, server ship with service connections, has gone missing. Oh, are these side missions then? The survey team has field tested a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planet Side Exploration Rover. So kind of like a better version of the Mako, hopefully, because the Mako was not great. Uh, they are aboard the MSV Rosalie and conducting research for us. We need you to find the ship, her survey team, and the doctors. And the Rosalie was last seen near planet Ziona. These are side missions. Okay, Admiral Hackett, our scans in the Amada system have turned up something that we thought you should see. The final location and the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. <gasps> We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We would like to invite you to the monument and be the first to walk on the site. <gasps> there are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack from the Normandy. If you find any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask you to report to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might find some closure. God speak to you, Commander. <gasps> That's nice. Oh my god, I wanna I don't wanna mark any of these as red until I do them. Uh let's have a look. St banking agent. Thank you for submitting your uh, medical data. Your status has been changed from a deceased to alive. 
Thank you. After deducting modest administration fees for closing the file, the subsequent change in status and re reactivation of your account, you have a remaining balance of 100,000 credits. Thank you for banking with An Ascension, sorry, Ascension Finals financial services we look forward to working with you are you protecting your greatest assets we'll find them okay we'll definitely we'll definitely mark that as red from the elusive man chevrolet at great cost we have tracked down the master thief kasumi goto oh my god are these the people that are going to be joining my team i'm excited to work with you very few people have heard of her and fewer can claim to have seen her in person she is unequaled at stealth and infiltration and her skills will prove valuable to your mission Travel to Sagara Ward on the Citadel. There you will find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password, silence is golden to begin the rendezvous. Uh, yes, that sounds so cool. Recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in the Skylion Verge, sorry. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against the Geth scouting party and credited their Sorry, and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since their unit is being reassigned to some of the rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. Fucking sick. <laughs> the weapon is called an arc projector. I sent it to the Normandy's armory so you can examine this for yourself and use it if you deem it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicate the overload uh, kinetic barriers. I didn't see it in the armory. Maybe I need the tech guy. And synthetic enemies particularly well but laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual field reports we know how it works now we want to see what you what it can do in the right hands if it goes well we'll use your tactics to train the other operatives and this was sent where hmm the arc protector okay good to know overlord one of our cells just went off grid without explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology and I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely compartmentalized, even though, sorry, enough that I can't divulge operational details over this channel. You'll find them on planet Ide Typhon system in the Phoenix mas massing cluster. I thought that said massaging. <laughs> massing cluster. PC's care in this matter. Okay. Uh, it occurred to our armor technicians that we, that you may not want to show your face everywhere you go. Sure. They set, they sent by a hood that Cerberus uses issues to covert operation. Okay, is additional microphone. The hood is in your quarters. Oh, a recon hood. Oh, the recon hood. We've already seen that before from when we were um, on the ship earlier. That's fine. So that's cool. I love all of these. Um, will we go to the crash? I don't know. Hmm. And he was where? On which system? On Omega. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. We have to go to Omega anyway, right? Combat information tester. Cruise quarters. Let's go here. Ooh, this is so much fun. Okay. What's down here? Whoa. Ah. We've just come down a level? The crew deck. Whoa. Women's restroom. Oh my god, this is so cool! A uh, big ass shower. You don't believe in doors in women's restrooms? I'm just supposed to pee here and anyone can walk in? Alright, crew quarters. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, uh, should be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Oh my god, don't drop that kind of knowledge of me. I have under pressure already. I don't need your baby under my pressure soul. God damn it. Now we need to take care of him. What's his name? Ooh, men's restroom. Exactly the same as the women's restroom. Interesting. Okay. What's going on down here, boys? What's happening? Crew, how you doing? Not so much as a hello. Caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. 
Mess Sergeant Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Mess Sergeant Thank you. Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Need anything? Investigate. Responsibilities. What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. Okay, fair. Janitor and cook. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands. Most of the time. <laughs> this ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. How do you feel through about working cracks. for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got Seems to be the common theme so among everybody, really. Butt fuckers, they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. Interesting. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. The uh, the acting in this is actually so great. Like, so far, just wonderful. Do you have everything you need? I make do. It was but also good in the last one. prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. Oh my god, yeah, you're so right. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. No, no, give me the list. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those namby pambies on the Citadel. I agree, you have Anything to have good food. you'd like to talk about? No, we're all good. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Find ingredients. Go to the Citadel and purchase the special ingredients. Perfect. So that's going to be in my special ingredients. There they are. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, reading the messages automatically assign them in here. Okay, that's great. Stop the collectors. Dossier, the master thief. Oh my god! Um, okay, that's sick. So we've done all these. And then we can go and get crew members. These must be the crew members. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. I am so excited. Okay, um, hmm. Let me just talk to the rest of the crew first because I want to see what's going down. Then we're going to go have a look and, like, actually go and get some crew members. Let's go get some crew members. <gasps> Dr. Chakwa. Commander Shepard. Oh my god. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. It's good to see you. Why are you here? Nah, it's good to see her. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have Me changed too. most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? Oh yeah, After God, I forgot. After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. You need to fly? Colonial military life isn't for you. I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the oh, next Oh shit, we were in the same bring. outfit. <laughs> I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. <laughs> Fair. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. Oh. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. Thank you. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. That's actually so nice. I feel like I was a little moody towards Dr. Chakwa in the first one, but God. I like her. Very Thank good you. Chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, 
the Skellian Blitz. We survived the battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. So true, we did. A full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Well, that's Do you nice. have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. <laughs> I'll get you another. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Okay. Well, I'll fair. see you later, Doctor. Commander. What a nice exchange. Find a bottle of Ceres ice brandy at the, at a store somewhere. <gasps> I will! Access to the AI core is restricted. Mm hmm Okay. That's interesting. Wonder why. But that's fine. Okay, we can't really go up here either. What is these? Oh, these are the spill pots. Okay. The main battery exam. The gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. Okay, fair. Definitely need to get a crew to access more parts of this ship. Alright. Miranda's office. Oh, hello. Oh. oh, look at you with your fucking viewing point and everything of the stars. Okay, Miranda, let's go. Commander, what can I do for you? Can we talk? Investigate. Normandy status. What do you do here? What exactly are your duties aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. And the Normandy Anything status? I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Can we talk? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? She said that kind of flirty. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, sorry. Okay. Service goals. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. Okay. Who's in charge? But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Just Nobody. the elusive man. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Hmm. What is Cerberus? Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. We keep our ranks and structures similar to the Alliance. A lot of our recruits started there. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. Hmm. Okay. Resources? What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. I can imagine. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. What saved the galaxy? What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. Interesting. What makes you think so? How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Okay. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. Okay. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. Modest, I guess. Oh, you're cocky. <laughs> That's actually my natural, that was my natural response. So I think I'm going to go with that. But then you're genetically modified. seems more, I would like to know. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. Oh. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced for a human. 
Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. Yeah. So you're perfect. <laughs> I like this. Please tell this sarcastically, Jane, please. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Kind of. Or maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my abilities. Hmm. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. Mm -hmm. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. I can't. She's so hot. <laughs> okay, well. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you talk later. Talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Like, she's so hot. I think, like, it is definitely part of her confidence that makes her so attractive, honestly. Like, oh, wow. Like, yeah. She's great. Monitoring station. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. What's this? A port cargo hold. Oh. Engineer Daniels. Hello. You came all the way down here to see us? Yeah. You're speaking to our commanding officer. Hello. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Uh, you could keep talking to me, sir. I love that Scottish accent. Your training. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Oh, sick! Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. Uh -oh. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Server is doing that. Yeah, fair. Keep joining, Ken joining Cerberus. Yes. Yeah, How did you again. wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. Oh. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. That's so nice. Okay, and Gabby? So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. That's so nice. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. That's fair. Feelings on Cerberus? What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. <laughs> Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. What's the issue? What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. <laughs> In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Thank you. Why don't you have them? Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 <laughs> model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Oh, well, I need to go to the Omega. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Thank you. I'm hmm. amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you she would. Oh, I like them so much. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Super strong court. What's this? Oh, I can talk to Edie here? What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. Mass Effect core. So sick. Okay, cool. Thank you. 
Now where are we going? What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ram vehicle and shuttle. My oh. last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds. Okay, cool. Good to know. Elevator. And this is just bringing me back. Okay. Sweet. Wow. Okay, great. Let's go back and talk to Joker. And there was quite a few things that we need to do on the Omega, so we might just do Omega first. Whoa. Hey, Joker. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. Thank and you. there's the downside. I liked the Normandy <laughs> when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> oh, my God. Joker. This ship is just a coffee. We, can't tr we can trust them for now. It's too good to be true. We can trust them for now. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well let them pamper us. Uh, does it breach uniform regs if I get that on a cruise shirt? Because this is my favorite, you have no choice, choice ever. <laughs> Technically, this is a civilian ship. You're probably lucky you're still wearing pants. Yeah, I'll save that for the off hour cameras. Have an AI watch me 24 7. Jeez. <laughs> okay, I love that. That was great. All right, let's have a quick look and see, I guess, what our best options are. But I think Omega seems like a good option. I know that they keep pushing towards getting a scientist. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. No, oh, sweet, thanks. Um, okay, let me just, mm, 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 let's go to the squad. Okay. Um, right. So these are some of the ones that we'd have to go and get our people from. Okay. Right, let's have a look here. So this is the main storyline, Stop the Collectors. Got it. And then these, the dossiers, I assume, the Master Thief, the Veteran, the Professor, they're all crew members. So Master Thief, we've just read about, and she is in Citadel. We've also read about him. He is on the Omega. Uh, what's this one? Citadel Council. Oh. Oh, I need to go, I need to go and talk to Anderson as well on the Citadel. Dossier, the professor. Where is he? Oh, Omega. Seems like we're going to Omega. Who's this? The warlord. Oh, millennia of combat and strategic experience. Rumored familiarity with collective technology. A brilliant and brutal Krogan warlord. <laughs> Who fought in Krogan rebellions. Oh, God. Has become obsessed with saving Krogan people from the genophage. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he's not going to like me at all. He's currently in a blue sun's camp on Corliss. Yeah. That's gonna be interesting. Also Omega, Archangel, and the Convict. Jack is rumored to be the most powerful human biotic ever encountered. Very little additional data regarding Jack is available, except the subject has a history of violence and should be approached carefully. Currently, he's being held on a Turian prison ship called Purgatory. Cerberus has negotiated for the prisoner's release. Interesting. All right, I guess we are going to Omega. There's quite a lot of stuff that we need to go to. Omega. Whoa! I can fly my shit! Look at me go! Oh my god, that's so cool! What do you mean? Um, excuse me. I'm loving this. Gives you all the things that you need to do in the Omega system, in the Amada, in every- Oh! My god. I love this game. I love this game. So great. So wonderful. I would like to dock on Omega. Built in a mine out husk of metallic asteroid. Omega has a has been a haven for criminals, terrorists, and malcontents for thousands of years. At times the station has been has lain idle and abandoned for centuries, only to be reactivated by a new group of outlaws seeking a fresh start. The station original sorry, the station's original elegant design 
has given way to haphazard expansion by sc scrabbling factions of every species. I see. There's no central government or unifying authority on Omega, and nobody can recall a time there ever was. 7.8 million, and there's no government? Seems a little reckless. Let's go. <laughs> Very excited. This seems like the place that we need to kind of hit most. I wonder if we can get any of the Normandy crew with us before we go to the Normandy crash site. It's like a movie. Whoa, okay. Level four infiltrator experience the next level. Auto level up, purchase rank. All right. Oh. Ah, so welcome then. to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to. Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just. Leave Fargot now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Oh. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. Thank you. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Relax. Got it. When I'm ready, relax. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame <laughs> Aria for keeping an eye Fair. on you. Fair. Afterlife now. All right, chill out, bruh. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. Oh. Lower afterlife, afterlife VIP area. Hmm. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Sick. Oh my, oh my god. Okay, well. Well. Isn't this familiar? <laughs> Come on, let me in. Oh, you all have to queue up? I'm just gonna... You'd be inside. What are you looking at? Alright, cool. Huh? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... Fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. Okay. See you around, buddy. That was an interesting, like, reaction. Okay. Oh, this is very familiar. We've done a strip club before. Can we get a dance in this one? <laughs> okay. Mark Recruiter. Got it. I know we have to go, like, go to a VIP area or something, but I just want to take a look around. I just want to... Oh, hey! Oh, I see. Sorry, I was distracted by the ladies dancing. Oh That's my gosh. Close enough. Okay, okay. All right, everybody. Okay, everybody, chill. Stand still. What's the scam for? If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was oh. told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. She is Omega. <laughs> fit. <laughs> I am Omega. Okay. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. 
I like her. Omega has no titled ruler and only one ruler. Don't fuck with Arya. Simple enough. I have similar rules. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, <laughs> I love someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. Yeah, yeah. So, what can I do for you? Archangel, investigate. Let's do investigate first. So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Okay. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Okay, God, I got, I got you. Indifference about Shepard, Arya. Tell me how you got set up here. <gasps> That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Don't go, because I need more information. Short answer, mind your own damn business. Got it, okay. Uh... I'm looking for Morden Solas. You know where I can find him? The Solarium Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. You know him? What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. I'm what about Archangel? To down Archangel, you and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Half of Omega. Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. <laughs> Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. Really? What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Okay. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. I need info about Archangel. What groups are after him? Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's hmm. reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. I see. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help them. One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death <laughs> was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. I see, and that's everything we've done. Okay. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. <laughs> okay then, all right. Join the mercs, enter the quarantine zone. All right, let's go join the mercs. Oh, that's the merc recruiter. That's what he's doing, uh -huh, I see. I hear you're recruiting. Mm. Why don't you step inside? I will. Thank you. You'll get paid and the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? Well, aren't you sweet? You're in the wrong place, honey. Stripper's quarters are that way. RT. Show me yours, tough guy. I bet mine's bigger. Impressive. So, you're here to fight them? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. 
This is the place. Standard fee is five. Ooh, very cool. Quick time events with Paragon and Renegade. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Got Any it. Questions? Sure. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So many people trying to kill this one guy? So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Sure. Merc bound assault. Why Archangel? Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? They haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Why? Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Who's Tarek? Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah. Tarek runs the Blue Suns. But all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Got Tarek's it. in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. Hmm. Interesting. Why Archangel? Location. Location. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. And why Archangel? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now oh. he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. Hmm. We're on his turf. tough to get to him. Like chasing a borch out of the sewer pipes. But that's where we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Hmm. Okay, I think that's everything. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Sign in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? How old are you? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. <laughs> I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Aww. What a cool little encounter. Okay, go, 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 go. So do we do that or do we go to quarantine first? Like, what's the dealio? What's the dealio? Shuttle to the quarantine zone is way at the bottom of the map. have a look around in here I guess but is there anything else to really do oh hello can we get a drink get out of here order a drink walk away yeah let's go oh my gosh it's turning okay nice business meeting you go girl okay so not much around here then that you can kind of explore okay oh well, what's down here to the lower levels let's go have a look down why not let's have a look down these lower levels eh it's just cozy just chilling oh Okay. Forvin talk. 
drink. Look. Hmm. Oh, we can dance. Nice. Just get your groove on, Shepard. Can't move the camera. Sweet. That was great. Cool work. Undercover. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Not much right here, anyways. Alright. Okay, dancer. Let's go. Oh, we can watch a dancer! Let's go! We could get a dance. Sit forward. <laughs> this is very familiar. We did this in ME1. Okay, girl, let's go for a kiss. Slay! Slay! So you can only, like, sit forward and tip. Just checking. <laughs> yes, queen, work. Absolutely work. Nice. Great stuff. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, interesting. I, that was just literally what I was looking for. I just wanted to see if you could do it. What's all this? Oh my god. Meeting areas. Don't act like you know. No. You said he had close family. He'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. God damn. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you, what do you want? want? Uh, just check it. What do you know about Aria? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Aria arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. Mm -hmm. I thought she was another dancer. She killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We two in this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. Why? What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, he was stronger. Smart girl. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well. Beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arias now. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. <laughs> it was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. I kind of like him. She kept me around as an advisor. That's it. Okay. I should be going. Take care. Wow, that's cool. All right, interesting. Where's this door going? I could check the map, but where's the map? Okay, slums. Slums. Who's Captain Gavorn? I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? We do not trust you. Tell Gavorn we know his tricks. We do not kill anyone today. How many Vorka There seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. Ew! Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn's box get no more. We leave. Okay. We're talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavorn's tricks. 
Okay, goodbye. This guy. How can these people be left to rot like this? You don't understand, or you don't want to. It doesn't really matter. Hmm. No. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Right. So, are we in the markets? Yes. Sweet. Should we have a look and see if there's any, like... Yes. I want to browse. How do I browse? How do I browse? Oh, I see. Go up here. Oh. Okay. Advisor. Chest plate, Omni tool. That was the time limit for hack. That's pretty cool. Ooh. That's a nice weapon. We were just starting with the Sari Commander units overall. With how the Asari could create biotic singularities to pull opponents from behind cover, he was determined to duplicate the feat technology. Oh, you can use pull with a weapon? Hmm. That's kind of cool. And I am looking for food, though, bruv. I'm looking for food, and I. So I can't go here because Harrods Emporium is above. Is it like a scholarship for me? That's sick. Alien magazine, titillating alien magazine. Obviously, I'm gonna buy that. <laughs> Obviously, oh shit, that's cool. Urban Combat Championship League. The set of armor has undergone as much or more field testing than those modern militaries. It's unique proprietary parasol. Air free performance chest and soldier piece bears the logo of Edmonton Edmonton Blood Dragons. That is pretty sick. It's pretty sick. I won't buy anything else for now. I just want to see if we could like get something from the markets, like the food list or something, but I don't know if we'll be able to get it in here in Omega. In fairness. Mad profit. You, sir, you're a blight. Okay, rude. It's pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. Uh oh. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. We can't go in? Who do you work for? I'm going in for Morden Solis. There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. Okay. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck. The area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Let me in and I'll help. I really need to get in. You can't stop me. I'm going in. Investigate. What's the nature of the plague? more about this plague. It starts out as a cough. Then you start coughing blood. And, well, then I shoot you. It affects Jesus. multiple species. Turians, Solarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune. And Vorcha. Count them. An hmm. airborne disease that takes down multiple races. Can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. Okay, honestly, that does make sense. Uh, Morden's clinic. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? Right. Uh. Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang that runs the district. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. Plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Okay. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. 
cross species. I didn't plagues. think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Solarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Ooh, you think he's lying? Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. Mm. And it either got loose or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let That's what I do. Solve problems. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead. Tell him you're coming Shit, he really's gonna let me in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. Oh. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Fortunately... Humans are immune to the plague. Okay, let's go. Oh. Okay. That's all we got. It's all, it's all we've got, isn't it? We can't change any of these anyway. I've got two options here. Arc projector. Oh, I have the arc projector. Yeah, well, let's use that. We have to fire people? Are they just gonna attack us? Surely not. Surely they are sick. Right? Don't shoot, they're cleared to come in. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? I think we're full then. Oh well. Good luck in there. Blue suns and orchards shooting anything that moves. Blue suns, orchards shooting anything that moves. Got it. Corpses must be trying to keep the plague from spreading. Human. You okay? Should have guessed. Oh. <laughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. What? <laughs> I'm looking for Solarian. Leave him. Don't blame us for this. You need help. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcher burn Morton and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> Where's the clinic? I hope you. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Oh. <gasps> Did you give him like a medi gel? You help me. Why? I'm here to That's help. what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. God damn it! Really? I'm gonna try and find a cure for the plague now. Sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? I'll send, so I'll send someone to help you investigate humans in the plague, Morden. I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees. Offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. Hmm. How is he dangerous? What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. Wow. Okay, fair. Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate. It had to be created in a lab. It's 
hardly more than you did that. humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Maybe are the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? The Vorcha are immune to disease. <coughs> A human created plague wouldn't affect them. Hmm. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Uh, besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus. He like makes this. a good point. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. <laughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. It I does. should go. Goodbye, human. Goodbye, friend. Oh, poor guy. Alright. Let's go and find this clinic, eh? Ah, the apartments. Yes, but we are looking for a clinic. There's no there's no map. Shit. He said it was on the other side, so I'm gonna guess it's down here somewhere. Hostiles to the right! What? Human. Where? Oh right. I cannot see anyone. Whoa! I gotta remember to reload. I really enjoy the fact that I shot his gun and it blew up in his face. Well, excuse you. Watch it. I was shooting here first. This will put them down. I actually think the companion fire is probably much better in this game so far than the previous. Like, I didn't find the previous companions very effective in the last game. But I do think that this, this game so far has proven that they are, like, just AI general, like, have been quite good. Oh, yes. That's thanks. interesting. Recruit a head scientist. Got it. I'm, on, I'm trying to recruit a head scientist, let me tell you. Uh, I assume I'm going up. I'm going up. Nope, maybe not. Hello. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. There's a doggo. <laughs> Nice. I appreciate that he uses it like he doesn't need me to tell him to use pull. Not that one. Oh god, get the dog. Wow. Wow, he had a flamethrower. Get over here. Whoa. Shit, guys. Doggo. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Sorry with this, Jacob. How do I change my weapon again into like the arc projector? Oh yeah. See what that's like. <laughs> oh, shit, that was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you, that was pretty good. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay, maybe I will go back to. Oh, okay. This one? I see the Krogan. I will take the next. Lost shield. God, I'm taking heavy damage in the meantime. Whoa. Oh. Watch out! Incoming! Whoa! Oh 
my goodness. Shepard, can you run away? Thank you. It seems we've crossed into Vorton. I really the enjoy territory. that. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. Do is there any ammo range? Because I'll need the ammo. Nothing else in here? What's in here? Oh! Promising? No, not promising. Hey, back off. We got here first. Okay, human looter. I'm not here to make trouble with you, sir. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's all right. Out. Chill out. Now forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. Who are you? What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. <sighs> I don't like looters. I'm looking for someone. Do you know a Solarian named Morden Solace? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Perfect. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. He's crawling with blue suns and Vorchek. Great. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solas. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. <laughs> Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. No way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. Got it. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off a week left ago. and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Never really found much. Kind of a poor neighborhood, you know? Hmm. What do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. Yeah, don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. Same. Tell me everything you know about... Oh, sorry. Solace. Gosh. That guy is crazy. Be don't honest, man. You kind of had no that. Way he's All just I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to. Before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcha finish him off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see him go. The Blue Suns ran a tight ship. Kept the district in line for the most part. Hmm. We need to get going. Well, stay here for a while. Get some rest. We got a big day tomorrow. Still plenty of apartments that need our special cleaning services. <laughs> Look, I'm not a fan of it, but I'm not gonna, like, it's just opportunist, you know? I'm not gonna start freaking wars over, over that. Oh, that's a lot of weapons. There's a nice barricade down there as well, so I'm assuming something around here? We found the clinic. Let's go. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those max. Okay. Good call. Someone's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Okay, I really thought that people would be like, uh, okay. Choose loadout. I do like that arc projector. But let's change it for a grenade. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. Yeah, honestly, it, it's a bit shitty. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. I'm not. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for somebody. Gordon saved my life. I owe him everything. Oh. Professor, we're running low on supplies. Use melanerin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in the tarium. Supplement with Butemerol. Now in the area, Butemerol. Got it. 
Senazine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Expensive to mass produce. Why not Heplicor? Too unstable. Inconsistent results. Demazine. Hello. Professor Morden Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Forcha. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Forcha a symptom. Is not he a cause. okay? The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No. No, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers. Not scientists. Yes. I can see yes. it. I'm not going to pick it. Hired guns. Maybe. Looking for something. Yes. Relax, yes. Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Secret organization. It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not alliance standard. Spectres. Is he okay? Not human. Terra firma too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus so sent you. Unexpected. <laughs> You're very well informed. How did a Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Solarian aid? The collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. <laughs> collectors. Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at environmental control center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. Got it. <laughs> why can't anything be simple? Yeah, I think that's a I'll good get answer, in but... and deal with the Vorcha. What the hell was that? Forge have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Jesus cure. Christ. Plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from dead blue sun's mercs may come in handy against Forge. One Thank more you. thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Forge territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. I'll keep an eye out. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. Metasick for I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. I love him. I love him. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm. Advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Right. Okay. Why does it make sense? Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. Right. We're a control group. Got it. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of <laughs> attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing oh. plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Interesting. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Stuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. I love him. I love Have him. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? I will die on Nothing this hill. major. Blue Suns came for humans. Made threats. Killed them before things escalated. Nothing major. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks Group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Let's head for the Fair. environmental plant. Oh. M6 can handgun acquired. Falling members are now able to use it. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Let's open that medkit, baby. You now for the collector assault rifle research product. Sweet. Okay. Just have a look around. Stuff. This might be useful. Absolutely. Okay. Let's go this way. I'm guessing we're going here. Mm -hmm. 
Heal again. No, this is just um, temporary invisibility. Oh god. Oh god. Shit. More handgun ammo? Oh yeah, let's try this one. Ho oh, ho! Baby! That's what I'm talking about! Shit, didn't give me much ammo though. Shit. Nice. Thank you. Okay, we did it. We did it. We cleared that area. That's nice. Good stuff. We need to check for more ammo though because my god. Am I running low? That guy with a headshot. I've got him. So where is Unity then? This one. Squad members that revives any wounded fallen squad members. I see. Oh, interesting. That's what that does. I need to get more ammo. Gambling terminal hack. Yeah. Matching code segments locate and select the code that matches the code displayed at the top left of the screen. Avoid red codes. Find all matches before time runs out. I'll try it. What? I have to. What? One attempt remaining. I have to find matching code. Are you joking? Oh, oh dear. Oh, you actually have to avoid them. I didn't even click it. Interesting. This is just really fascinating to me. Oh, sorry about that. Oh shit. Shit. Oh, I did it. Huh. Nice. We did it. We just robbed some stuff. Okay. What do we do now?
bank terminal? Oh. Ah, shit. Sorry. I'm not going to time. Oh, I did it. Nice. That's a weird one. I don't I don't love that. The patterns are too sporadic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we'll kill your friend. Nobody needs to die. Every chill. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right. Doesn't make any sense. Damn right. If we release the prisoner. We can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. Nice. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Hmm. Thank you. I thought they were gonna gonna kill me. Oh, poor Daniel. Morden sends you to find me. He needs you. The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Uh, thanks again. I owe you... Well... Everything. Okay. Bye, Daniel. Stay safe. Good to know. Okay, great. Glad that we got that done. Let's have a look this way. Coming. Fantastic. Okay, we did it. Let's go and get these immune systems back up and running. Immune systems and environment systems. Rude. Gotcha. Oh God. I do love a good sniper, let me tell you. Else is shooting at me. Who's saying? Right. Oh. Ah. Who is killing me? Damn. Yes, yes. You're gonna kill me. I got it. That's probably true. I'm not gonna lie to you. Jeez. 
Shit, shit, shit. Mm. Anyway. Can you shoot through these? Oh, you can! Very cool. Can you just fucking heal himself? Who's still me? From where? Where are my team? Are they dead? Shit. Shit, they probably are, actually. No fallen team members. Where the fuck are my team members then? Whoa! Oh my god, you guys! Right behind you. On it. Guys, seriously, come on. God. You guys, where in the heck are my team members? Thank you, God. Took you guys long enough. Nice, thank you. Sheesh. Oh, salvage parts. Yes, let's do that. Oh, right, let's go. Oh. Oh, it's just another entrance. We're close to the environmental controls. Let's get that cure in, then hit the fangs. Yeah, let's do that. This is a great idea. Well, oh, you don't come here. Blood we pack boom squad. Machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. Oh shit. What do the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Maybe not the best call for this kind of weapon. Thank you, Edie. Appreciate it. Cure's locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Okay, how do we do that? Oh shit. Have a nice trip. Stop my gun first because two on either side of the room that I'm in now. I'm gonna guess by the steps. Nice mm -hmm. Oh god. God. All right. Oh, shit. Get through my shields. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. <gasps> wow. That fucking flamethrower is crazy. Oh no. Where did it Where will it lead me to? Oh, come on. 
chose the running it option this time, apparently. Stupid reload. Oh, damn. Three options now on this one. Okay, thank you. There's some ammo just there. Doors locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Ah. Jesus. Gun, gun. There's really there's like no control in that weapon at all. Glitched out. Okay. He's glitching. That's so bad. All right, and then this. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Right, grenade. There's plenty of them down there. Is that really? Did that really take them all out? Yeah, I guess so. Wow. Okay. One down, one to go. Let's move. Let's move. Oh my god. Have a nice trip. Oh my god. Oh gosh, I thought I changed my it. There we go. Wow. I don't remember how to heal myself with a medi gel, so if anybody remembers, let me know. Oh shit. Excuse me. God damn, okay. Fuck. Oh shit. It's not gonna help me if this is- Oh god, run away! Shepard, run! Oh my god, run! Shepard, run! Jacob, you okay? Have a nice trip. Okay. Seems like we're okay. I just need to use a different gun. Might use the might use the automatic actually. Yeah. Shit. Wrong one. Is there nothing? Oh, I thought there was still one guy left. Okay. Woo! Both fans are up. That should be it. Yay! Field is clear. Environmental systems engaged. Oh Air shit! It just brings us right back. That's so cool. Improving, fortune retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. Mm. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. 
I'm not like that. I thought about it. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I did think about it, but it's fine. I, I didn't. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how okay. can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients. Sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. He's Watch not wrong. <laughs> He's what I said. not wrong. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Borja are gone. Will you join me? We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. Okay, great. Thanks. Stay or leave. Uh, I'll stay. I'm gonna look around for a moment. Okay, thanks. Oh, I can press B to end mission. Oh, I see. This is to, like, look around the area of the slums that we didn't get to go see. I think that we've probably done everything that we can out here, so I'm going to end it. And I'll go back to the Normandy. Nice! We recruited Dr. Morden Solace for the team. Examination of my get Thank you. I wonder, can we... Well, I'm sure we can still go back anyway. Go to Mark Scanner. Medical upgrade, Medigel capacity increased by one. Okay, let's go. Sweet. Nice. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You know the elusive man? You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. <laughs> Fair. Service hasn't changed. Human colonies are vanishing. The collectors have been abducting colonists from the fringes of the Terminus systems. No distress signals are sent out, no signs of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spreads too slow. Airborne virus. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There's a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? I love him. No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? Yes. The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board. Non-human crew members. Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Thank you. All right, this is where I'm going to leave it. I do still want to go. I wonder if we can go back to. Um, I'm gonna actually save it up twice. I, I wonder if we can go back to Omega because I know that we still have to get the Archangel and there's somebody else that the, something else that we need to do there too. So let's have a look at that next time. Thank you all so much for joining me today. This is a very long episode. It's roughly around two and a half hours. So if this is a good length for you guys, let me know because I am trying to figure out what is the best way. I think some of these missions are probably going to be longer than others. So maybe we can just play it by ear for now. But we will still upload every single Friday. So make sure to stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button. Like the video if you liked this video. Leave a comment down below on anything that you have. Tips or tricks. But please, no spoilers. This is my first ever time playing Mass Effect. This is literally my first time playing through the game. So I'm sorry if I make you know decisions that disappoint you. I really do apologize. But this is my first time playing. And I'm loving it so far. Very, very cool. So yeah, so thank you again so much for watching. I will see you guys next Friday.